Hello and welcome back. I am going to be reviewing this Predator trailer that came out a few days ago. I did do a reaction video to that as well. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. But I wanted to do a bit more of an in-depth review before the movie does come out. You can guess the pretty much the plot of this movie. When that Predator ship crashes, it's going to be the Predator ship of the smaller one because the bigger Predator of a different clan, I'm guessing, is 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 chasing it and hunts it to Earth. And then they come into contact with humans and chaos ensues. That's what I think the plot will be. When I was watching this trailer, I, I couldn't really understand what they were saying at the start. Welcome to the Looney Bus. McKenna. The Brask Williams. That's quite a yeah, they seem to be talking a bit mumbly, or maybe it was just me. The music for this trailer felt all right. Like the beat at the start of it, I liked it at the start, but when it started getting into the, into the rapping, that's where it kind of took me out of it a bit. I felt that that kind of music didn't really belong in a Predator movie, but that's just my opinion. This trailer shows more of the action that we're going to see in the movie than in the previous tra trailers. I think that it's definitely going to earn its R rating just by what we saw in the trailer. There's People exploding, getting impaled. Tourism. And I do like that because an R rating doesn't make a bad movie good, but for me it helps improve it. Well, not improve it. Let me let me elaborate a bit. Because the previous Predator movies, I think, have been R rated or at least very violent. And keeping to that, this one needs to be as well. A lot of movies, I think, that have the potential to be R-rated or have a higher rating tend to go for the PG-13 rating so that they can appeal to more people and get more younger audiences into the seat. This trailer showed what I thought were hellhounds. If you've seen Predators, the third movie that comes out in 2010, the Predator uses these hounds called hellhounds, but the ones in these, this trailer look different compared to the, one that, the ones that were in Predators. Um, it looks, they actually look more like a Predator. They have like the same tentacle things coming out off of their head and they look similar. But I don't know whether they're like genetically enhanced hounds or something or a different breed because because humans throughout history have used different breeds of dogs for hunting so it's not it wouldn't be too unbelievable for them to be using a different breed of hounds just a fun fact Shane Black who was directing this movie he was actually in the original Predator he plays Rick Hawkins in the original Predator which if you don't know who that is it was the guy who was making he was making the over-the-top sexual jokes now I don't there has been a rumor circulating um, that the bigger predator is a genetic hybrid of Dutch from the first movie and a predator which I think is pretty ridiculous even for a predator movie. I don't think that would be the case. I do think that the bigger predator is along, going along the lines of, well, not going along, is from another clan. As always, thank you for sitting down for a couple of minutes and listening to me talk about random geek stuff. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.